<laughs> William Leshman's Fridge and Underground House. World famous ultralight aircraft pioneer, artist, and inventor, William Leshman. He was always looking for better ways of doing things, and he was an early adopter of computer-aided design. Using his computer in a CAD program, William Leshman was able to not only improve his ultralight aircraft designs, but also create his home and refrigerator. William Leshman's refrigerator was a creation caused by a desire to keep the cold air within the refrigerator. A normal fridge is a rather serious issue. Each time the door is open, the cold air will rush out to the bottom of the door, out the bottom of the door, eventually landing on the floor and dissipating. William Leshman solved this problem by making his refrigerator lift up vertically out of the counter and have grates instead of solid racks. Clo Leshman also noticed problems with conventional architecture. Houses, much like a refrigerator, were not designed to be as energy efficient as possible. Inspired by a dream, William Leshman realized that uh, underground, temperature stays similar all year round, warmer than the air in the win outside in the winter, and colder than the air outside in the summer. Uh, normal houses also tend to uh, leak air and wind into them, into the building, uh, and cause the hot air to escape in the winter. Uh, they weren't really designed to be the most efficient things. Uh, they're rather wasteful, much like a conventional fridge. Being a man of solutions, William Leshman and his friends and family set out to building the house of his dreams. Leshman set to work, first removing a small hill that was on his property to create a concrete foundation. He implemented a custom ra system for a radiant floor heat that would enable Bill's house floor to be heated and provide efficient heating to the rest of his house. By creating the rebar structure that would be covered up with a mesh and sprayed with sprayable concrete called gunite, his home would be able to last the ages. Finally, it was buried, and the hill's dirt was placed back on top of the structure. This enabled William Lishman to have a home of his dreams. I leave you, the watcher, to watch the rest of this clip, as well as discuss below at any more questions you have. I'll be covering various things in William Lishman's life, and uh, I figured this was a good one to start with. Let me know what you think, and uh, let me know what you think of the, uh, the clips, too. Thank you. What I say is that, that, you know, we've been entrapped by conventional architecture, which started out with the tree. The tree is a, a straight stick, and out of that straight stick, we built square boxes. We never got out of that. Uh, I mean, a, a human shape isn't a square box. So th this is more organic, more, uh, more natural. And because of the light from above, et cetera, you have the feeling that you're outside while you're inside. And, th and that's always a nicer feeling than being, again, cooped up in some little box. So and so you you did, this is all your own work. You designed everything in here. You built the doors. You yeah, designed and built the hinges. Pin coming out there. Right. But uh, yeah, that, that's. Uh, but you see, the, the the hinge had to be built into the in, into the into the steel work before you ever even put the concrete on. So the, the, we built a jig so that all the door frames would be the same. That's that's the doorway into the bedroom. See that that uh, come on through. Um, and, and then, you know, finding furniture to fit in a round room is, is a trick, so we had to uh, build all the furniture. What drew you to living in an environment like this? Well, uh, a couple of reasons. The main reason is uh, it's more efficient to live underground in terms of heating and, and cooling of a, of a house. Uh, the, the temperature in the atmosphere varies uh, 60 degrees annually. We're talking Celsius, of course. And, uh, but once you get under the frost line, it varies maybe 10 degrees annually. Uh, in terms of maintenance, it's far more efficient because you've got these, uh, you've got natural stuff growing on the roof that renews itself all the time. It's, it's a more gradual and comfortable uh, atmosphere to live in than being out in the vagaries of the weather that are so variable. So, so in fact, this is the biggest window in there. It is, it's six feet in diameter.
That's, I built several igloos when, I was, when my boys were younger, and, and I was amazed that one candle light in there, the light all reflects back in. If you had a perfect sphere, all the light would stay in it, you see? So it works that way, and it's, everything works more efficiently, sound and light and heat, everything. Right. How much did the house cost you? Uh, about 400000 It still costs more than building conventionally. You know, halfway through, I look at the thing and say, are we going to be able to live in this, or have I just got a big hole in the ground where all the money went? You know, and, and so that, that constant worry uh, that, that way. So the building inspector approved it. I want to know what happened when you went to the bank to get the mortgage. What did they think? Well, I went many times. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the most difficult design problem you had in building the house? Well, I think it was the kitchen because, uh, you know, you have to get all those square cupboards and, round, and square things that fit in this round room. That was probably the trick. Come on, I'll show you uh, what, some of the solutions we came up with. Uh, of course, uh, sort of built the shape first and uh, put some places for plumbing in, found the plumbing was in the wrong place, etc. And, and, and then, you know, we have all these curved surfaces and uh, you, you can't go and buy curved drawers, you know. And the, for example, the drawers, when you op open them up, they, they all come in concentrically and you have to, uh, you know, a, nor a normal kitchen cupboard, you'd buy a set and put it in here, but these all you have to custom build, and it's a combination of concrete and wood. Your refrigerator, for yes. example. You didn't put a square refrigerator no, in here, did you? No, you, you can't. And besides, I think refrigerators are designed wrong. You know, When I was a kid on the farm, we had uh, uh, this old farmhouse that, that, that had a dumbwaiter. This, the, because it was cold in the basement, this thing would rise out of the floor. And so using that thinking, I designed a fridge that... Uh, um, combined with the, the, sort of the dumbwaiter idea with Lazy Susan, and there's everything you need right there when you want. The, the beauty of it is, too, that the cold air, of course, stays in this uh, cylinder. And, and it, um, uh, you, you, do, you do lose a little bit of cold air by the displacement of this going back down, but it's, it, it effect, effectively works uh, much more efficiently than a, than a square refrigerator trip. And this guy came up to me and he shakes my hand and he says, I'm flying this thing because I saw you're on 2020 it's and, very uh, and he goes on and it's turns out he owns a whole chain of hotels. So it's like being almost going back into the womb, the shapes, and it's so cozy. The neighbors who live in split level houses and all the other houses we're used to, did they, did they ever tell you they thought you were crazy? Well, when I was building the place, yeah. They were all looking at me like it must be nuts. You built this extraordinary environment. What's next for you? Oh, well, I got lots of ideas. Uh, this year I was going to do a, uh, create a, a scale, I mean, a, almost a full-scale replica of uh, Stonehenge out of ice, called Icehenge, you uh -huh. see, on Lake Skugog, because they have a festival there every year. And I thought it would be wonderful to create this thing out of great slabs of ice cut out of the, out of the lake. And, uh, and then you'd set it up exact uh, geometric shape of, of Stonehenge, but then you'd watch it melt as spring came, it would be like watching the deterioration of Stonehenge on fast forward. <laughs> <laughs>